Kohala, the harvest season runs all year round. But now, the time is ripe for developing food sustainability and food security. There's no reason why you should go hungry. But year 2018, we want to be 50% food sustainable. So if you would look at your plate, 50% of what you consume on your meal, we want that to come from Kohala. And either by raising it yourself, hunting, fishing, or buying it from farmers from Kohala. That, that's, that's our goal. It's an ambitious idea that's growing organically through small community projects like Palili o Kohala. North Kohala is such a special place and having the Palili o Kohala project here on the property, this is the right thing to do and, it, and it's where we need to go in terms of our health, economic development, our food security. One of the things that we do is we work with youth in families, trying to create that next generation of farmers because that's so important. And so therefore growing healthier families, healthier communities, healthy food. This program really taught us everything on how to uh, plant it, process it, and now the next step is to distribute. Families get to learn natural farming techniques as taught by the famous Korean agriculturist, Master Cho Han Kyu. His unique method uses only natural fertilizers without chemicals or pesticides. This means healthier crops, bigger harvests, and some might say even tastier produce. Natural farming is a, it's a process to cultivate beneficial biology um, on a mass scale and then return it into the soil so that your entire uh, agricultural process is healthy. That's what we do here. Working on just one acre of land, Palilio Kohala has already produced more than a thousand pounds of taro over the past two years and hopes to continue harvesting at least a hundred pounds of taro per week. It's all about food sustainability. So this is a a great project where we could, you know, raise some taro and, and, and sweet potato and then give it to the food basket. Today we had sweet potatoes from Palili Farms and um, people just love it. Nobody says no. <laughs> we have all kinds of clients. We have a lot of seniors, we have a lot of children, also other people who don't have jobs, but it's every kind of person you can think of. Feed the hungry and we do our best to do that. I know the people that come are happy that we're here because they have a place to go in case they need food. In addition to canned and frozen foods, Sacred Hearts Pantry can now offer fresh healthy produce grown locally by parish volunteers. Farming is not an easy task, you know, it's most of our families are just part-time farmers and, and they have their regular job, but this is, it's helping them with, with their subsistence. But in, in general, we want the big sustainability picture where we can help out the whole community and, and building it together. That's, that's our main vision. Not everybody is a farmer, but everybody can do something to help grow and support the local food system here in the state of Hawaii. Just choose one thing that you normally eat that's flown here, that comes in on a barge, and substitute that with something that's grown here. And just stick with that one thing for a while. And that's a major contribution. We on the tip of the island, of the big island and it is truly God's country. So the people of Kohala in general, they're awesome people. And if they're hungry, they hopefully they know where to find us at Sacred Heart Havi. Living local, that's what it is, you know, helping each other out, yeah. It's not about me, but it's about us. Mm -hmm.